My name is Rod Kowicki, a uh, physicist, author of the Supertelic Electromagnetic Gravitational Universe Technology Theory. Uh, what I wanted to express today, uh, if you saw my earlier video, uh, especially my book, I talk about my book, Faster Light Speed, and my book being a the second half of Einstein's theory. The reason is because uh, Einstein's theory is about gravity. Uh, to assert FTL, fast and light, we have to take gravity out of the equation, which means interstellar space, empty space, the void. This is the void to talk about in the Bible. Void or in Webster's Dictionary is, is uh, illustrated as being a vacant. But I had a, a, an idea that I wanted to express about my book, and it has to do with E equals MC square and energy. Energy, according to Einstein, no matter what, is limited to the speed of light. That means that if you have a, if energy was a ball and you had a ball about as big as a, a uh, golf ball, and you asserted all that energy according to relativity, not the energy of the mass, but that, that the limit of that energy is the speed of light, no matter what, and the size of golf ball. What makes that so funny is now we'll take the same example and say now we use a basketball. That's about uh, a thousand, two thousand times bigger than a golf ball. And according to relativity, and E equals mc squared, then the energy compounded in that. Basketball is the same as in the golf ball. No matter what, I find that hard to believe. Einstein's theory is based on gravitation, meaning that as an object, massive object, approaches near light speed, traveling through gravitation, this is the catch, that gravity pulls, attracts the ball as it travels, uh, slowing it down. So, so the vehicle traveling through Earth's atmosphere is traveling at a harder rate than if gravity didn't exist. Also meaning that it's only traveling half as fast as it could if gravity didn't exist. E equals MC squared. We're talking about tra uh, not a vessel traveling close to light speed, attracted by gravity. That velocity is squared, meaning that even though it is 186,000 miles a second, half of the energy content is applied to the effect of gravity is, is slowing it down. So the, the content of velocity and energy, the, the vehicle actually According to E equals MC square, has twice the mass that it would if it didn't wasn't affected by gravity. In other words, what I'm saying is, we go into a state of interstellar space and we find there's no gravity. The energy that is asserted by the gravitational field is now applies to velocity. The ship. 
is there increases. Why? Because even though it's 186,000 miles a second, the energy content in the gravitational field, which is now empty, we exempt gravitation, can be applied to the ship travel, travel velocity, which means that the tra the in space, uh, empty space, the vehicle can actually travel 375, 72,000 miles a second per second, time minus one second. That's uh, the quanta study or quanta physics. Now, don't get mistaken, it's not quantum physics, it's quanta physics. Uh, it's an extension to relativity. It shows what I just told you that Einstein's work is based on gravity. My work is the absence of gravity. Biblically speaking, we're talking about space that is vacant, empty, of the void, so to speak. But that, that kind of puzzled me, and you, know, you, you get it. The size of that energy uh, in a golf ball. And then you got 2,000 golf balls making up a, a basketball, and yet they both have the same velocity, velocity, especially since when you take that basketball or that golf ball and put it in space where it's not affected by gravity, its weight drops to zero, almost zero. Uh, that's something to think about. That's the reason that something that travels in space needs to be physically slowed down by using uh, thrust, thr reverse thrusters to slow it down. Or it can get, it'll keep going at whatever rate we're talking about. Uh, there's ups and downs and uh, everything, a bunch of stuff involved. It's all in that book if you want to read it. I think you should. Uh, 10 year study. It took me about three or four years to write it. Uh, but if you can understand what I'm talking about in physics, then you will understand what I'm talking about. Uh, my book is the second half of special relativity and the second half of general relativity. All in one. Please. Take the time and go check it out. You'll find it. Find it. Uh, thank you very much.